Hello, sweet souls. Happy Tuesday, January 31st. And I want to announce the winner of the tarot deck is Emily Youngblood. So I will try to reach out, or Emily, you can reach out to me. You are the winner. I need to get your address so I can mail that to you. Um, I am partnering with Keen, not yet a reader, but if you are a first time visitor, you get the first 10 minutes for $1.99. I'll add the link. To schedule a private 20 or 40 minute reading, go through the scheduling app. I am still doing the uh, recorded video read, one subject for $50. You have to send the email, Tasha's Divine Guidance at yahoo.com. We're gonna call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're gonna call on the Holy Spirit, angels, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for our greater good. So it's very interesting. I pulled the wisdom of the oracle. The same exact cards came out, but it's a different spin. I'm, I'm just going to explain it. We got the fates. We got the soulmate. We got breathe to the sea and regeneration. Okay. Underneath that is between, between worlds. So, okay. With the fates, I clarified it with the rider weight. So what I'm getting, what's fated to happen and I think for many of you, you're asking, why did this happen with this past person? They were my soulmate. Why did I have to experience this? Okay, so they're saying this was fated to happen. It's fated that this person will want to come in and have a new beginning. They're going to try to come back in, which is a test. I'm telling you it's a test. This is someone that juggled you, that that kept you in a third party or, or made, made you feel like an option. This is a past life soul connection. But the wheel's turning. And I did hear what comes around goes around. So this person is experiencing all they put you through or they will be. Um, they're saying there were so many illusions. There were so many options for this past person. And that's why they juggled you. Now they're plotting and planning, wanting to come in and give this new offer. But it's fated to happen that you reject them. You defend yourself because you're a star. You're a star and you're meant to go way farther than, than you could have ever gone in connection with this person. But this was an experience that you had to go through in order for you to level up, okay? Soulmate. Yes, they were a soulmate. They were a soulmate. They became a karmic soulmate through lies and deception, deceit, third-party interference, heartbreak, suffering, control and dominance. This person is obsessed with watching you. This person has done things in the past to slander you, to destroy your character, to deflect blame off of themselves. Yes, it could be a fire sign. It doesn't have to be, but... They could have that energy of someone that's driven and hyper-focused on only what they want. This is someone you have blocked communication with, okay? You know, they're saying breathe because they're saying this was fated to happen. This is a karmic soul connection. You needed to complete a cycle that you didn't complete in a past life, and this life you complete it. They said just relax because all of this deception, all this sneaky behavior, wanting to win at all costs, wanting to take you down, is only putting you in the energy of generational wealth new opportunities that lead to victory, financial gain, abundance. So this is actually a blessing in disguise, okay? You had to experience all of this with this person in order to level up, in order to ascend, in order to know your value and worth. We got to the sea, which talks about peace and luck returning into your life. Look, financial security, stability, being in this, and 333 on my clock, the divine assisted you in this transformation to become the stable, the most stable, grounded version of you. And you defeated the devil. This person was in such low vibe, toxic energy, and yes, possibly demonic attachments. What's coming in quick for you is justice. Whatever was taken, whatever was that they tried to destroy um, in your life is now gonna be given back to you. It's gonna be balanced. Regeneration, I got a lot of cards for regeneration. This, this puts you through the transformation of your life, right? So this was a necessary part of the puzzle. We get the decision that you made to move on, you know, to know that there was better and to manifest in your life from the pain that you experience, walking away from those people that didn't have your best interest. It puts you in an energy of this hangman, a moment of pause, a moment of reflection, a moment of, of being uh, given insight by the divine. You're coming out of hermit mode. You're not isolating anymore or you're not going to be in the future. You've learned the lesson of self-love. You are listening to your intuition. You are not um, fearful. You're not in an anxiety-ridden state anymore. You're ready for the leap. You're ready for the new beginning. And a stable offer is coming, whether this is career, finance, or a new love. But this is the angel of God bringing balance in your life, which is amazing. So this was 
a necessary means to an end, if that makes sense. You had to go through this. So let's use the Lightseer's deck and see if there's anything else that needs to come out. So if you've wondered, you know, why would God put me in a soulmate connection and then cause me so much stress and anxiety? Because you had to go through this to heal. You had to experience this and understand that you alone had control over your mind. You alone can dictate who um, manipulates you, who gets in your head. You can control your mind. You can control how you respond to people. And you control who you release from your life. Yeah, that God just tried to come out. The Hierophant. Look at this. You successfully closed the cycle, defeated the devil, the devils in your life. And yeah, you... You see with perfect clarity, real divine love doesn't do the things that this soulmate did to you. They became a karmic for a reason in order for you to seek your own happiness, to seek your happiness, to go after what it is you deserve. And it's leading to the Ten of Pentacles. I can't make it up. Ten of Pentacles, generational wealth, building a stable foundation, having happiness, having a family life, having monetary gain. You leveled up. You leveled up to the empress. You know how amazing you are. You're highly intuitive. You're abundant. You're a nurturer. You're a mother, a father. You're a nurturing figure. And if you don't have children, it's how you nurture others. You definitely leveled up from this experience. But that's what it took. You're in the limelight having victory. People are seeing you for your true authentic self. People see how strong, confident, and amazing you are. Yeah. You know, for many of you, you may get communication from past people. You may. They see you in your glory. They see you in God's light. And they may want to speak some sort of truth to you because the wheel is turning. Again, they're saying that things are lining up for you. The scales are being balanced. Your life is being balanced. And this person, whatever they hid, is, is coming back around to them. It is. Yeah, look. Mm. You know, this is a person that likes to devise plans and do things in the dark that are sneaky. They try to do things in the dark, but you're focused on your stability. A twin flame soulmate could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but someone that's loving and kind and empathetic. Someone that will match your energy. I thought we had the Queen of Cups come out. I can't remember, but this is someone that will be open, that will communicate with you and will give you the love that you deserve. Wow. This person will be stable. This person will embody both the, the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. They'll be loving, kind, empathetic. They'll also be grounded and stable, and they will see you as beautiful, driven, very passionate, and very spiritual. Yeah. And you know, you might be in your head a little bit. You might be fearful. Is this the real connection for me? Because I thought the past person was my soulmate. They're validating. That, yes, the Queen of Cups did just come out. They're validating that you don't have to worry. This person is brought to you as a gift, as a blessing. Look, a stable offer, an abundant offer from this person. You don't have to worry. Yeah, this is your balance. This is the angel of God restoring balance in your love life. Showing you. From a different perspective what's a healthy relationship and what wasn't you're seeing the difference yeah that you don't have to compete for someone to love you if someone puts you in competition and makes you feel like you have to constantly strive to change yourself to please them that's not love that's not love yeah you're no longer in the victim mode anymore you're releasing that and blessings god's blessings you know wish fulfillment is just pouring into your life look Again, Queen of Pentacles leveling up to the stable, grounded, financially secure energy. And that's God. That's God blessing you, rewarding you with this commitment that's meant for you. Okay? One more, please. Yeah, you, you don't worry about anyone but yourself. You, you are this hermit. You stay in isolation. You go within and you seek your answers within with God. Yeah, like I said, this is a warning. For some, the low vibe player that juggled you will try to come in. But this this person was only a stepping stone. They don't want you to walk away. 
And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, they were a means to an end. You, you had to take that journey. You had to use that platform, that step, go through that pain in order to get to where you are. Yeah. You know, they'll come in with some sort of emotional offer, you know, but that time is, is done. There's no peace for you in that relationship. There's only pain. There's only third party situations. And this person's rejection is their justice for what they did to you. You know, they caused confusion. They caused you to feel confused and not sure about even who you are. But God protects you now, okay? And God is bringing you a real soulmate, a real soulmate. Yes, the devil's in regret. Yes, the devil's filled with anxiety and experiencing karma as well as the Ten of Swords pain. But you had strength and courage to move on. Not accept low vibe offers from people that want to make you feel like you are just an option. You're manifesting new beginnings. You are a missed opportunity. Keep putting in the work to, toward your um, <clears throat> passions. Whatever it is that the divine is inspiring you to create or work toward, keep doing that because that's what you're meant to do. So, um, okay guys, this is the reading that I have for you. I love you and I hope you have an amazing day. And... Um, Emily Youngblood, reach out to me, sweetie. I'm going to try and find you, but reach out to me so I can get your address. Um, oh, and I don't know if I mentioned, I am going to do a YouTube giveaway next, uh, if for February, um, it's going to be a sweatshirt giveaway. So I got to order more sweatshirts, but I'm going to do sweatshirt giveaway. Okay. All right, guys. I love you. Bye-bye.